Back in 2018, Mountain States Health Alliance and Wellmont Health System merged to create Ballot Health. The move was meant to preserve rural health care in the region, but it created an impatient monopoly that required state action through what's called a COPA or a Certificate of Public Advantage. Good evening, I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Casey Marler. The terms of the certification of the COPA outline rules the hospital system must follow. They must follow those exact rules. State Representative Gloria Johnson filed a bill in hopes that hospitals get the oversight she says is needed, but not currently occurring to the detriment of patients. News Channel 11's Jeff Keeling spoke with Gloria Johnson today on why she filed the bill. We've got lots of problems here, and it doesn't look that like they are in a moving in a direction of solving these problems. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. State Representative Gloria Johnson, a Knoxville Democrat, says state oversight of ballot health isn't working, but that a bill she filed Wednesday would mean these hospitals are getting the oversight that they desperately need. Johnson's bill would basically repeal the law that paved the way for the creation of ballot as a regulated monopoly, ditching the so-called Certificate of Public Advantage, or COPA, and likely opening the door for an antitrust action. If we need to attach, attach some bit of language to make that clear, we will absolutely do that. Ballot declined an interview request, but said in a statement, the bill makes inaccurate statements the legislature cannot rely upon. It said claims about poor quality of care, not meeting charity care requirements, and exploiting its monopoly power are all inaccurate. Every community in Northeast Tennessee that had a hospital before the Certificate of Public Advantage was created still has one, and we have been able to expand services, adding, this bill, if passed, would expose our hospitals to closures, which were occurring before the creation of Ballot Health, and it would sacrifice these important new services created due to the COPA. I see no way that the bill moves forward and is passed. But State Representative David Hawk, Republican from Greenville, says he's got some of the same concerns as Johnson, and he's heard from too many patients and employees not to think the oversight system needs work. We owe it to our citizens and the other healthcare professionals in the region to listen and try to come up with a plan uh, that, that keeps us moving forward and improves health outcomes. In Johnson City, Jeff Keeling, News Channel 11. Thank you, Jeff. You can read Ballot's full statement and learn more about Johnson's proposal and Hawk's perspective on WJHL.com.